The executive yuan on Thursday announced the partial resumption of the Mini 3 links for the Lunar New Year, starting January 7th. But the news has not been well received by everyone. Before the pandemic, the links allowed for limited transport, business and postal services between the island counties of Mazu and Jingmen and select cities in China's Fujian province. But the new plan limits eligibility to Mazu and Jingmen locals and their Chinese spouses. The Spring Festival Transport Plan for Jinmen and Mazu locals will be in effect for two weeks before and after the upcoming Lunar New Year Festival, that is, from January 7th to February 6, 2023. The three mini links have been suspended for almost three years, but with the easing of COVID travel rules, calls have grown for resuming them. The central government announced on Thursday that ferry services would resume starting January 7th but with some conditions. The only people eligible are the people of Jinmen and Mazu and Chinese nationals married to locals. They must apply for permission, which will be granted on a case-by-case -case basis. The local governments will be in charge of managing the process. Some civic groups have protested the plan does not extend eligibility to all Taiwanese business people. <laughs> One group held a press conference calling for the full resumption of the three mini links as they were before the pandemic. A Chinese national attended the event, voicing hope that she would be able to reunite with her family in China for the spring festival. Former lawmakers representing Jinmen and Mazu say they will hold a demonstration on Saturday alongside civic groups. Before, all it took was a few thousand Taiwan dollars. The suspension has put a big financial burden on us. It's also very time-consuming. Why is it only for the people of Jinmen and Mazu? It should apply to all 23 million compatriots. It should be like flight services, no restrictions and open to everyone. COVID cases are currently on the rise in China, where the BF7 Omicron subvariant has taken over. Reports say the virus is so transmissible that one person with the disease transmits it to 18 others on average. China Medical University Hospital Dr. Huang Gaobing has said Taiwan could consider reinstating some form of travel quarantines. The head of the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices says that is not necessary. Instead, vaccinations are key. There is no need to put in place stricter measures just because there are more variants. Instead, it's best to get vaccinated with next-gen shots to lower the risk of infection. In a recent visit to Jinmen, the head of the CECC, Victor Wong, said the medical resources on the island county were not yet sufficient to open up the gates completely.